Hi, James Kendrick with JKOnTheRun.com. Today I'm going to show you something that I've just gotten to work on my MacBook Pro. Sorry I'm at a weird angle, but I got everything set up so you can see the MacBook Pro. This is my 17-inch MacBook Pro. And what I've wanted to do for a long time is to be able to watch TV in a window on my MacBook while I'm doing other stuff nothing new about that there's a, a relatively new solution for Macs put out by Pinnacle using the Pinnacle PC TV HD Pro Stick and yes the HD does stand for high definition I'll get into that a little bit later I'm not using it in high def yet but if you can see it right here it's just this little USB key this black key right here it's plugged into the MacBook Pro and I've got my regular digital cable coax coming into it. This up on the screen right here is the little ITV. It's almost like a little tiny remote. It basically is up there the, the entire time that the, that the program is running so that you can access the, the tuner in the uh, USB stick but also so you know that it's running. Uh, it, it just stays up there all the time. Now, I should point out, this is not just a solution that is only for the Mac, because while there is a Mac Pinnacle uh, software hardware solution that's available on the Apple website, there's also a Windows version of this, and in fact, I'll, I'll be honest with you, the USB stick that I'm using is the Windows version. I had it I've had this for, wow, a long time, since probably the early this year. But I always wanted to run it on the Mac because of the big screen and the nice resolution graphics and so forth. So I decided to try to see if the USB stick is hardware compatible. It is. Obviously, it's working. Now, you need the ITV program which ITV Lite ships with the USB stick itself what I did was went to the the, the company that makes the software ITV I think it's uh, Elgato is the company and actually bought and downloaded last night the Mac version of the full version of the software ITV2 and I'm going to show you just very quickly what this thing does and why I, I'm really liking it so far. Now it also comes with this remote control. It's very small but yet full feature. So we'll use this and we'll, we'll turn on and as we can see right now by pushing this button we're on ESPN NBA Access with, with Op Ahmed Rashad, Ahmad Rashad, sorry. And this is just, that window is resizable, you can do anything with it, but as you can see, it's a nice size for working alongside of other things. So let's turn that down. That's a little thing. All, everything I'm doing with this is with the, uh, the remote control. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. And, of course, we can switch channels, off channel, ESPN2 we can easily switch around. Now I know you can't really see that because I've got it. Let me move in just a little bit closer so you can see it. I wanted you to see the whole setup first. But that's what it looks like. Changing channels. But let's go full screen. You see how quick that is? I can pop back and forth. I'm doing that with the remote control. Pushing the button. And there's also up in the uh, the view menu. There's also small size, which you probably can't even see because I can't. Normal size, and then there's what they call maximum size, which is a little bit bigger. Uh, but let's go back to normal size. It never remembers where the screen was, but that's so that's where we are. There's a mod Rashad right there, and again. You can just switch back and forth. The audio is good. The video is excellent. Now, I don't know if you can see it, but up here I have my dual CPU graph for my, my Core 2 Duo. And they're not even being pegged. 
Everything is being done right here in the USB stick itself, the hardware. And that's awesome because I can do anything and watch TV and not have it impact the machine at all. So this is the Pinnacle system. Now it's a full DVR uh, media center. Um, in fact, let's uh, let me show you that by pushing the media center button here. And as you can see, and I'm controlling this totally with the remote control. We've got all kinds of options, mute, picture in picture, which you need a second tuner for, I don't have. Favorite channels, last channel, and go to live. Let's go back to live. And that puts us back here in full screen, which we can just toggle instantly like that. You see how quick this is, it's pretty cool. Now there's also a way, it's a full DVR, so, for example, if I go to the built-in guide, which it uses Titan TV, which I've used for years online, I, you can go through here, and it's a full chant, or TV listing right here, so you can do whatever you want to do. You see the TV still going. We can go to our recordings, and I just recorded a little small one, and I'm about to start it for you, so you can see what happens. Now, as you can see... This is the recorded, it's only 20 seconds or so. It takes over the, the audio, but notice how the live TV is still playing. It doesn't have the audio on, but that's still the live TV. And that's awesome, they're both playing at the same time. Pretty cool. Now, and that's the extent of my recorded video. So, that's cool, you've got you can see schedules, like ER is scheduled to uh, record um, later this week. Of course, you've got your channels and you've got your program guide. So you can actually totally control everything here, just like a DVR. Now, up here on this little menu bar, which you probably can't see, let's see if I can get you in just a little bit closer, is a way to export with one button click, I can export that video in iPod optimized format or in Apple TV format because obviously it's compatible with the Apple TV. Now when I click this to convert this little video to the iPod, it will automatically convert it to uh, M4V format and put that in the TV show folder under iTunes, uh, which will let, in fact, I'm going to just go ahead and do it. Okay, now it's exporting. This is going to take a while because it's to export the video, obviously. It's a little progress bar, it's going. And then when this shows up, when this completes, it will automatically appear in iTunes, which is really slick. Or, of course, you can upload it to YouTube, and and uh, it's just a real cool way to take your recorded TV shows with you on your iPod or whatever mobile device you happen to be using, your iPod Touch, your iPhone, whatever. Now, that's already encoded, and it actually opened up iTunes to the pertinent place, which is the TV shows, and there's our video right there. So if we, in fact, let me turn off the TV. If I double click this in iTunes, now we're watching the recorded TV show. This is actually in iTunes. You see, it looks familiar, right? So really, really cool. And now I'm not sure if this version of ITV2, I'm not sure what the additional features are over ITV Lite that ships with these. So if you, um, if you buy one of these, either the Windows version, you're going to need the software for the Mac, of course, like I did, go download it. Or if you buy the Mac version, let's mute that volume. If you... If you buy the Mac version, you're going to get ITV Lite. I don't know if you're going to be missing some stuff, but I don't think so. I think it's full featured. I think you can do your uh, um, your recordings and everything just uh, just like this. So this has been James Kendrick. Let's go back, shall we? Yeah, there we go. This is James Kendrick with.
jkontherun.com with a quick look at viewing and recording live TV on the MacBook Pro in this case. Now, I did say it's high definition. It comes with this antenna because you may be aware high def TV is broad, often broadcast over the air in a lot of areas. I have not really played with this much, so I can't say yes, it works. But you use this as your input source as opposed to the, uh, the cable TV like I have it. It's a telescopic antenna, magnetic base, and you can actually get high definition TV through this. Or, of course, if you have high def running into your location, you can run that into the Pinnacle USB stick itself. So, high definition, recorded TV, full screen, regular screen. And as you can see, you just keep working along with whatever you want to do. Obviously on JK on the run, of course, right? And watch TV at the same time. And in some cases, even listen to TV at the same time. So, this is the Pinnacle PC TV HD for either Windows or there's a Mac version on Apple.com, the online store. It's USB 2 HD TV right on your screen. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll be back really, really soon. See you later.